Hey guys, so I received another um, message from a young follower um, and I just wanted to address that. I always try to address these personally because I understand and I'm very glad that I'm that place for some of you to come talk to because um, I didn't have that growing up. So I'm happy that I am, you know, that place where you can get help um, and you can, you know, ask for advice and tell me your stories. Because not always, not all the time will friends and family be that place. Um, so this message says, I hope this doesn't sound annoying to you, which it doesn't. <laughs> um, but I'm dealing with friends who just kind of taunt me. I don't like the way I am. I began cutting myself. How can I help myself? I can't believe I'm this depressed at only age 14. Well, first of all, being 14 sucks. <laughs> it's awkward. It's really awkward. Everyone feels awkward. Even that girl that you look at and you say, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Or that guy, oh, he's so hot. Mm -mm. <laughs> They're awkward. Everyone's awkward. Everyone feels awkward. Everyone's dealing with raging hormones. They don't know what to do about it. They're angry. They're mad. They're sad. They're horny. And so they just take it out on the weakest link. I was the weakest link. <laughs> Everyone took it out on me. So, you know, and I'm okay now. It's okay. You know, like, just keep going. Keep deflecting. You'll be 15 before you know it. And it'll suck. And then you'll be 16. And, and it'll suck. But then you'll be 17. And people will slowly stop caring. And then you'll be in college. And then you'll be an adult. And you won't get bullied anymore. Uh, well, you will, but that person will be your boss. <laughs> but you get money for being bullied, <laughs> so it's okay. Um, as far as those people who taunt you, I don't think you can call them friends. You know, if your friends are truly taunting you constantly, you know, it's not worth it. It's not feeling that. It's not worth feeling that sad. Um, I remember in high school, I once said I, and I've said this in another video. I am i don't care if I have to eat lunch in the bathroom or by myself in the library. It's not worth feeling this sad. I would rather feel lonely than hate myself, if that makes sense. Like, I'd rather be alone and, and kind of lonely feeling, but feeling good about myself than feeling like I have 10 friends who all really hate me and I have lots of work I need to do on myself because... I am not cool. <laughs> um, so I don't think you should call them friends. Uh, and if they are lifelong friends and maybe they don't know that they're really hurting you, talk to them and tell them, hey, you're hurting me. And if they don't care, then you shouldn't care. And it, it sucks and it's scary to say, you know, I don't care if I'm going to go sit in the library every lunch. But that's only a couple, you know, a handful of days out of the rest of your life that you're going to feel lonely because very soon you won't feel so lonely. As far as cutting yourself, don't. <laughs> I cut myself when I was around your age. And first of all, you know, you'll be left with really dumb scars. I don't know if we can even see them. Mm, no. But you'll be left with really dumb scars. And people will always ask you, what's that? <laughs> and you're gonna, you're gonna try to hide it. And it's it's gonna suck because no one understands how how much you're how much you dealt with. But don't don't cut yourself for so many reasons. You know, I find I I started to instead of cutting myself now, I will work out, and I'll work out in a really forceful way. Like I'll like box or I'll dance. I'll do something to take out my emotions on air, pretty much, <laughs> instead of my own body. Because you have to love yourself. Your body is what is the only thing you have. Everybody pinpoints that one thing and say, ew, that's ugly. But everyone has that. And you just have to love your body because you're beautiful the way you are. And you were born this way, to quote Lady Gaga. So there's nothing wrong with how you were born and who you were born as. So just, if, if it's truly an issue, however, and you find you can't stop cutting... I would suggest going to see a therapist 
or talking to a professional. Um, there's many numbers that you can call, but I would suggest if it's truly becoming an issue of life and death, I would suggest going to get help. But, you know, with the issues I can help with, it's, you're, you're 14 and everyone hates themselves. And that's just kind of the atmosphere you have to live in is a whole lot of hate caused by lots of awkward. <laughs> so just keep going because if you want to picture yourself as me when you're 23 because I was the weakest link and I was the one tortured and bullied and cutting herself, you'll be okay. You'll be awkward <laughs> still. <laughs> I'm still awkward. But people will love you for it. So just keep going and just keep taking every day as it comes and getting through that day and deflecting. And someday you will be a 23-year-old, still a bit awkward, but it's okay because you'll be loved. <laughs> so I hope that helped a little bit. And if it doesn't, you know, you can always feel free to reach out to me again. But I have to get going. <laughs> so have a good night.